you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am with Sanja Slay asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? Hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it on, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is good grounds equals manifestation. But before I get to what? Right in my mouth, let's go ahead and do what? Check out this manifestation jar, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out two or three, maybe four. We have what? Pay off card. Congratulations. What's the next one? The next one is what? Stay aligned and connected, and we will continue doing that. And what's next? What's next? What's next? We have what? New home. Congratulations. And last but not least is what? 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 Baby. Congratulations. Wham, wham, wham. <laughs> Listen, good grounds equals manifestation. What am I talking about? If you have good ground, that means what? That your seed can take root. What's the seed? The seed is what God has promised you. That seed is that dream, that talent, all the good things and yum yums that God has predestined for your life. But you have to have good ground so that seed can take root and begin to what? Begin to nurture itself and then before you know it, you will manifest. The thing is, we forget to get all the way aligned and connected and we just choose not to get all the way aligned and connected. And when that happens, that means our grounds aren't good. Why? Because we have so much debris on the ground and in the ground, which means where you're dealing with rocks, metals, sticks, and all other kind of crazy stuff. So when you throw that seed in there, then what happens? It's falling on that rock. It's falling on that stick. It's falling on that metal. And as you're waiting and 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 waiting on some progress, you don't ever see it. Why? Because the seed can't take root in bad ground. So what do you have to do? You already know what I'm going to say. Get and stay aligned and connected. What we pulled out today, right? Which means what? God which is you at core, it's going to be at the forefront of your life. Then you'll be able to see what's in your journey with some clarity. Then where you'll be over there and some good goods and yum yums of thinking, which means what? That's you tilling the ground, which means what? There won't be any drama in your soil. There won't be any negativity in your soil, any negative thinking or worst case scenario or doubt or whatnot in your soil. Why? Because you will have God leading and then you'll have nothing but what? Positivity, possibility, and that's what's going to water your seed and water the soil and till it so when the seed is planted it's going to stretch out in that soil in who you are and then when it will begin to grow it will begin to grow the seed will begin to take root in other words and let me let me let me let me let me encourage you guys when you plant your seed and you have good ground do not get discouraged when you don't see anything happening when you don't see any progress happening, because let me tell you this, I remember when I decided I was going to change our landscaping at home, I pulled up everything that was out there and I went and bought my seeds, my tulips and all other kind of bushes and plants and whatnot. And I bought the seed and you know, on the packet, it shows you what it looks like. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. I'm going to have some purple tulips. I'm going to have some pink tulips. I'm going to have all these tulips out here, right? And so I, I dug up everything, tilled the ground, made sure the ground was good. And I planted the seed deep enough deep enough deep enough right so every day i will come outside whether i'm going walking or get in the car to go somewhere and i'm looking at what i planted and i don't see anything i just see you know dirt and a little straw and whatnot and i'm like wait a minute I know I planted right there. Ain't nothing here yet. Ain't nothing here yet. What's going on? And I, I was beginning to doubt what was going to come up out of the ground. Why? Because I couldn't see anything happening with my physical eyes. Little did I know was that that seed was getting comfortable. All those seeds that I planted, they were getting so comfortable in that soil because I had tilled it really, really well. And so it was comfortable. So it was beginning to wet take root but I couldn't see that I couldn't see that only thing I could see when I would step out of my house was that nothing was there nothing was there nothing was there and y'all one one time I actually thought well maybe I should dig it up and buy some more seeds and do it but I was like no I'm not gonna do it because that was a whole lot of work I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna leave it alone I'm just gonna leave it alone I'm just gonna leave it alone and that's you right now those of you who have planted in good ground, you're standing a line of connected, you put the request in, that seed in that God put that put that desire in your heart, and you still don't see any progress. You don't see anything happening with the physical eyes. But listen, don't give up. Trust me, 
it is happening behind the scenes underneath the soil because let me tell y'all one day i stepped out of my house okay i looked over to where i had planted all those seeds and y'all coming up out of the ground with some blaze of those leaves on the tulips and you talking about your girl got super excited you know how i be smiling and laughing i was showing up cutting the food i was cutting the food and laughing so hard that my husband had to come to the front door like man you okay i said yeah look my tulips are coming out my tulips my tulips are coming out no 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 he's like i see i see i see babe calm down i said no you just don't know you just don't know i was thinking it wasn't going to manifest but it manifests and that's what's going to happen to you but you got to make sure that you have good ground because I'm telling you, if you have good ground, then you are certain, it's for certain, it's for sure, it is, it is without doubt that you will indeed manifest. You just got to make sure you keep a good ground. Keep good ground. Make sure that seed can take root. And that's why you wait. Stay in a line of connect. Keep the mind, body, ego into submission and not giving up. Why? Because those seeds that God gave you to plant came straight from him. And when your ground is good, God will, man, let me tell you something. You'll think that it's going to sprout up just one plant here, one plant there, one plant here, one plant there. God will have those tulips and plants everywhere in your yard. He'll multiply that thing. Why? Because your ground is good. Don't make the mistake of having bad ground which means what? So much debris. In other words, what? Don't be in that drama. Don't participate in that drama. Don't be around people who keep it up mess. Because guess what? God will lump you in it. You may not be the mess stirrer. You may be the one just passing the ingredients to the one that's stirring up the mess. Are you listening to me? Which means what? You are assistant to the cook. You are. You are assistant to the cook. That's what my daughter tell me whenever I'm in the kitchen. I ask for her help. She said, no, I'm daddy's sous chef. It's like you're a sous chef to the chef if you're participating in mess, in drama. And you'll be lumped in there, which means what? You're not having good ground. So whenever you go and pray and put in a request, you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Why? Because you still have so, some debris on your soil, in your soil. And you don't want that. Good ground equals manifestation. Good grounds equals manifestation. So make sure your ground is right, is prepped, is tilled with wet positivity, knowing who you are at core. You, you get what I'm saying? I hope so. I'm already at seven minutes, about to hit eight minutes, but I hope y'all got the same. But I want to tell y'all, good grounds equals manifestations. It does. It does. It does. And don't, like I say, don't get discouraged if you're not seeing anything happen right now. Trust me, things are working out. Even though you can't see it, it's working out. And before you know it, you're going to be like me. You're going to see that blade of grass, a blade of the, from that tulip, and you're going to get so excited. You're going to get signs and stuff from here and there, letting you know that, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, you about to you about to eat of this fruit. you about to eat of this fruit. you about to experience this bloom. Be able to get the bloom, cut it off, and put it in a vase and have it in your home. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like something homegrown. And when you homegrown it from who you are, then it's so much of a blessing. Why? Because you know nobody gave it to you but who? God. All because you had good ground. So go ahead and get good ground. Keep good ground so you can do what? Manifest. I hope this was not confusing to y'all. But listen, if you didn't get it, rewind and watch again because I truly indeed want you to manifest. And all those seeds that God have given you with concerning your career, your dreams, whatever it is, those seeds are important. And it's just waiting on you to have good ground so that it can take root and produce for you, okay? So you can have a harvest time, okay? And it ain't even Thanksgiving, but you're going to have a harvest season. You get what I'm saying? Y'all understand? But for real, if you didn't get this thing, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. I should have told y'all this. If y'all hear some banging or whatnot, that's my son on the drums. My daughter was on the piano. I'm going to overlap this with some music, but you may be able to hear him playing the drums. Let me see. Y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear it. The music may cover it up. 
But y'all, it's like he's saying, I'm up here and I'm getting down, okay? But listen, I hope y'all did get this golden nugget. Make sure you have some good ground so that you can manifest. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.